Cancer Schmancer is, let's focus on how we can prevent cancer and teach people to find it early. My name is Fran Drescher. I'm a cancer survivor. Life offers you challenges, and how you grow through it is what makes all the difference. You know, it's turning lemons into lemonade and pain into purpose for anyone that's going through anything. I love that, pain into purpose. It yes. really heals. It yes. helps heal. And for me, it's become a life mission because no woman should ever die due to late stage diagnosis. And most of the people that we love and lose to cancer, we do so because of late stage diagnosis. And if everyone was diagnosed early, almost everyone would live. If you catch it on arrival, 95% survival. <laughs> I love that. Catch it on arrival. Stage one is the cure. Catch it on arrival, 95% survival. We see things in life that we think are real. But what is very real is what Fran speaks about. Cancer Schmancer is more of a movement than an organization. It's about healthy women, healthy mothers, give rise to healthy families. Healthy families have healthy children. It's about mobilizing women, both locally and at the state level, and also nationally and potentially globally. It's an organization that's going to help our generation, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren. And it affects so many people. It affects one out of every two men. It affects one out of every three women. We're here at Marie's Snow Show, and we're talking about trash cancer from cancerschmanza.org. I tell you, the woman knows what she's doing. Yay! <laughs> cancer Schmanza, people. Stage one is the cure. Cancer Schmanza is a celebrity-driven organization. And by leveraging the high visibility of celebrities, we're able to reach millions of people at any given time through heavy media saturation. Nearly 80,000 American women are newly diagnosed each year with approximately 29,000 deaths from these cancers annually in the U.S. Fran's incredible contributions to saving women from uterine cancer by education and early detection is a tribute to her character. Because of Fran Drescher's book, Fran saved my life last year. That this could happen to me. What about the woman in the low income neighborhoods? What about the woman who's uninsured or underinsured? What about the woman whose English is not her first language? What about the woman who's a single parent and just trying to get food on the table to take care of her children? Something needs to be done. In 2007, we were instrumental in getting the Gynecologic Cancer Education and Awareness Act passed by unanimous consent in Washington. In 2009, Cancer Schmancer created a partnership with Inner Images to send vans with mammography equipment into low-income neighborhoods in Los Angeles. In 2010, Cancer Schmancer partnered with Project Renewal's ScanVan, providing screening tests for women in New York City. Shifting the world's focus from merely searching for a cure to more immediate goals, education, prevention, and early detection. Saving lives today, and in the process, turning passive patients into medical consumers. We have a very exciting new prevention program called Trash Cancer. We're going to teach our family and friends how to reduce their risk of cancer by questioning, what are we putting in our mouth? What are we putting on our skin? And what are we cleaning our homes with? What are we gardening with? Take what we call a cancer schmansa, the check, choose, and change challenge. Each time you go to the market, try something new. One thing, and you, it may not be the perfect replacement right away. You may have to try a half a dozen times until you find that perfect deodorant that's carcinogen free. And gradually, slowly, you're going to be tipping the scales in your favor for a healthier, longer lifestyle. One of the first things that I learned from Fran was that 5% and 10% of cancers are hereditary. That blew my mind. Then where's 90% coming from? What was I putting on my children? What was I eating? What was I having around my home that I didn't know about that was really personally having me at risk? And Fran and our team is leading a movement that will revolutionize the way we live healthfully together. When I found out I had my cancer, uh, it was at the fourth stage already. And uh, I don't want anybody to be shocked like that. So I think anything that women and men 
can do to support what uh, Fran is spearheading with Cancer Schmancer uh, will benefit everyone. I think everybody loses one to, to cancer, and my family certainly is not unique. And she said uterine cancer. My mother had cancer. She leaves behind two young children. Way too many friends. My brother died last year of late stage Way too many families. My father-in-law. So mine, who's 31 years old, died of breast cancer. I mean, I found my lump through self-detection. My mom had cancer. My college had roommate. Had cancer. My mom, my uh, uncle had cancer. cancer. My like grandmother's two of them had cancer. It's not a woman's issue. It's a human issue.